Ah, the process as one goes through. Good morning, everyone. It is Ros Boundy here doing the daily live stream Lenamond cards. And I have got this cross posting to mytimetv.live and also to Hypnosis Plus with Ros. Now I am clicking in the background to just get over to the My Time Show just to make sure everything's working right there. And you may hear it make a bit of noise echo for a moment. I've just mm -hmm. got to <laughs> hang on a sec. Well, now, and I am on YouTube this morning. I've got it cross-posting, uh, not cross-posting, that's actually simulcasting to my YouTube channel. So if you're wanting to go and pop over there to see what that looks like, it is just Ros Boundy as the channel you search for. So good morning to you, Joanne. How are you? It's a beautiful day here. I can see out the window that it's uh, got some cloud, but the sun is shining and it doesn't feel that cold. Not yet anyway. So I figure what we're doing is um, experiencing winter <laughs> in its glory. So I'm going to continue toward doing the reading for the day today. We've got an interesting set of cards again. Uh, at least we don't have the cross card in this one. So we may have just got past that um, bit of guidance there that we're needing to drop so much stuff. But we'll see what we've got coming up. You can see three of the cards in full there in the corner. Hi, Kerry Ann. How are you? Now I am going to swap around. Oh, just, yeah, the, the, the little scroller thingy, that's my website where you can book for the personalised individual readings as well. So here we go. I'll just move that off. I did have a few little issues getting here this morning. And we've got that. Isn't it beautifully clear this morning? I had a bit of, that's where I did a bit of a twiddle to get the focus really good. And Tracy, how are you? Wonderful to see you here too this morning. Now, the deck that I'm using, it is that one. Whoops, it's a bit crooked. Let me go straight. There. It's the Gilded Reverie Lenneman deck. I am using that expanded edition. So as you can see, and that just means there's some extra cards in the deck that, oh, yeah, one of those has shown up this morning. So we'll get into the reading. Um, oh, that is I thought I had that straight. It's just a little bit on the skew. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to mess with the camera right now. So we'll just have to put up with that. Just that little bit of skewy. The Virgos will have to put up with it. <laughs> okay. So hi, Sandra. I just see you pop popped in to watch on my time. It's wonderful to see you here too. Uh, Clover. Clover is the lucky card, and guess what position that one's in? For those of you that have been here for a while over time, you'll know. This one here is the workspace, or what we've got here is the home space. Up there in the third position is the unexpected card. Down here we've got in your role is uh, that position there, and fifth card right in the centre is the outcome. So I reckon it's lucky. When I actually started to shuffle the cards this morning and put that intention for the shared reading this morning, the clover was actually the one that it first flew out while I was just starting to shuffle. It flew out face down, so I knew it was going to be a surprise. And usually when you do get those types of cards flying out, they really want to be in the spread and it's really quite significant. And because it was that first card, I thought, oh, well, you beaut, what a good surprise. I flipped it over and wow, we've got the clover. So in anything that you're doing with your work today, do expect it is a lucky day. It's going to be good luck all round for any particular work, whether you're in business, whether you're working for someone else, any work that you do is going to be good luck. We've got that predominant four-leaf clover. It could be that even as you go for your walk and then I'm not sure is there clovers around at this time of year. Anyway, it's the predominant. It is the lucky. It is move forward with that intention. You're going to have good luck today. It showed up first. It really wanted to be in the spread and I'm going to go with it. We'll fly with that good luck into all of our day overall aspects, not just the workspace. We're coming now into the 
home space and we've had the key over the last few days so I'm looking at that thinking well we're going to have that key unlocking so much more you still got it in hand good morning Shaz love the clover card I absolutely love the clover card too um we still got that key in hand and we've got we've got the control so as far as that goes for in our home space and the that type of energy that we've got around our home there's so much we can unlock i'm seeing that gate is open that little door is open it's freeing anything that we want to set free even being able to get access to that beautiful rose in there sure roses don't get off and fly out for themselves but what was in that cage? Something that needed to be set free and it's set free and we have done that. So congratulations on being able to let things go to set them free and have that, um, oh, you know, sometimes things once they even go, uh, if it was a bird of some sort that was in the cage, they can come back. There is that freedom. What that key is telling me in this instance is the freedom and being able to choose have our choices of staying away, coming back, whichever it is that's going to eventuate for the day. So hi, Wanda, how are you? That beautiful butterfly in your avatar photo, gorgeous. And I always love the purple hearts too, <laughs> gorgeous. Thank you for being here. Um, we're going to have a look at what is the unexpected card. It's the compass. So maybe as we're setting things free, whoops, Maybe as we're setting th things free, we're also setting the course for for moving ahead. Uh, the unexpected is that card that does just pop into the day. So there might be something that you're seeing in your day that, and take notice of it too, the little messages that might indicate that you're going in a particular direction. Feel that sense of uh, looking at your internal map, for instance, that you, you're needing to recalibrate and that you're being given that little message, no, it's this way. Instead of just looking straight on like that, you might be directed to that way and realigning your compass like that. So look for those little um, messages, that internal feeling around what you're going to be facing through the day uh, to have that sense of realignment. One of the things I remember when doing sailing as a as a kid, because the wind is so important in how you actually set your sails you, and the course that you're going, that you actually, you know, you'd, you'd feel that wind on your face. So you'd set yourself and you, you'd sort of move around and face the wind and where the wind was. Then you knew, knew that you had to put the tiller a particular position to get that optimum wind in the sails to keep moving forward fast if you're in a race I, I did dinghy racing so it, it's all that little bit of the fine tuning to get that absolute correct direction and that's exactly what the compass actually does bring us so test the waters along that line or test the wind on your face or whatever it is those messages that are coming to you at the time unexpectedly that the compass is being realigned for you um, fine-tuned for you down here, we've got in our fifth, fourth position, sorry, at the, our role. So that is, yes, it's the birch broom and crack and the, and the whip. <laughs> good vibes with these cards. Um, yeah, I felt good vibes as soon as I as soon as I um, turned over the clover card. I thought, wow, yes, good set today. So we're moving forward, and this is what the the birch broom and the whip is about. It's move. It's another one of moving forward. Um, it, my my mind will always go back to the days at, on the farm as kids when we did have, you know, Dad was at the back of the cattle when we were droving them or, you know, moving them from paddock to paddock or up to the dairy because we were dairy farmers for many for many years and, and on and off, you know, there was a couple of occasions where that changed. Uh, the, the whip, the sound of that whip cracking, it was... Because it takes talent, it, it really does, it's a skill to actually crack that whip correctly to get the right sound that moves the cattle without touching them because it wasn't something that you hurt the, hurt the animals with. It was a sound and you needed that sound to get them moving. And it was just so lovely to hear that crack, that snap, and, and the move of the wrist. And I think too, it, it is a bit of a work card, this one, but it, it's just to, in my sense of my mind is that it's just to keep it moving get it moving and we're cleaning our way as we go with a broom 
So it's just getting things out the way to keep, you know, sometimes there's those little things that are just little glitches on the floor, the dust, the dirt. Sweep, sweep it away to give that clean pathway and then crack the whip around yourself. Like, like have that movement forward. Keep it moving. So that's what I'm feeling with the birch broom and the whip today. So whatever you're doing today, just keep it moving. And in some sense, it's too, the exercise. They're, they're, and that's probably my message is exercise just popped into my mind. Even if it's just to go for a walk, to keep the momentum going in. And so it can be any sort of thing that you, you're actually doing in, in your daily life now uh, relative to either the home space or the workspace. You know, it's all going to be good luck. And the outcome, the flowers, it's just congratulations. So whatever it is that you're going to be attempting, going to be moving into today, yeah, Sandra, they really are interesting cards. Um, now, I can't put your comments up, Sandra, because the, uh, and I don't know if it shows in the description on the My Time page this morning, um, the, the source where, where I'm doing this from is my page, Ros Bounty page, um, so that that's that's where the studio is connected to. So I'm bringing these up because these girls are on my page commenting, and that's fine. You're saying July has you committed and accountable. You're doing a daily challenge of writing one short story a day. I'm using. Oh, you're using your talents and skills. Yeah, the cards are perfect, absolutely for that. I think it. And you know, for today, get into it because you're going to have some really good luck with getting your story a day. Um, progressing and done and it's a congratulations it's almost with that intention that you're already published with it put together small story that your stories into an ebook and publish it it be it just feels there's the congratulations it's already there so set your intention that all of this is the perfect day for you have that intention when you're looking at this uh the photo of the cards afterwards and, and you're wanting to sort of relook and think oh where does my eye go which is the predominant card that I'm needing to concentrate or have my focus on um <clears throat> oh excuse me that felt a bit ugh. um know that it that regardless of which which card you, you're choosing that it's going to be a congratulations as the outcome you know whatever it's it's a successful day in in all ways that, yes, just a tiny bit of work. Well, tiny bit of work, it depends what your classification of work is and, and how hard or easy it is. But it, it's, it is the reward that the recognition that that congratulations at the end of what your day is going to be. You'll sit down tonight and think, oh, wow, that's a fantastic day. And thank you. You give yourself the pat on the back or someone else is giving that to you you might receive a bunch of flowers or a bouquet or a really beautiful florist arrangement. Who knows? And if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Uh, I'm aware that it's 4th of July. I know that's something big in America. <laughs> and I'll probably get chastised for just making it a little. Um, we know our own history. We know our own country's history. I'm not too au fait with the American, the U.S., line of whatever their celebrations are and stuff i know they had father's day very recently as well i'm thinking yeah well as is in september it's just celebrate every day um the setting the intention that we are going to have good luck every day and that we are um we, we've earned it we've got that you know the bunch of flowers that love that that uh, acknowledgement, all of that that is uh, our outcome. Our outcome should be this every day, that whatever we've experienced and however we've grown and however we've progressed and unlocked different things in our day, that it is um, certainly for congratulations. It's certainly knowing that it is the perfect day that we've had because each and every being present is that gift that we've had in the day for a being the best person that we can be. So I'll leave that with you because I was really excited with that spread this morning. As I as I turned over that clover card, it was just, oh, wow. And it's funny because it went back to 
Irish heritage in some form because I felt the leprechauns around. So it's all, you know, just tap into your own energy and what you're feeling as you're looking at the cards, as you're looking at your day and planning, maybe you've got something planned ahead and just anticipating and putting the fantastic intentions into it that it's a good luck day and that those flowers are going to be there at the end of your day to just say thank you. <sighs> Continue being the best person that you can be, that you are. And uh, tomorrow I should be here at about the 8 o'clock, all things being equal. And just live the best life that you can. And namaste till then. 8 o'clock tomorrow at light time. Bye for now. <laughs>